Imagine trying to keep up with constantly changing information in the middle of a pandemic if you can't hear or see. Lieutenant Governor Susan Bysowitz stopped by the American School for the Deaf to highlight challenges during the pandemic and what she wants to see done about it. Samaya Hernandez has more from West Hartford. Information is constantly changing in a pandemic and some communities feel left out. Access to information online is not accessible necessarily to the deaf and hard of hearing community, so we want to make that investment. Now the Lamont administration wants to use $2 million in federal pandemic relief funds to increase support services for this vulnerable group, including those at West Hartford's American School for the Deaf. We have the very first school, permanent deaf school in America. That was one standard. And now we have so many more standards that Connecticut will continue to set. One of the challenges they're hoping to correct, investing in clear masks. It's been hard to read lips or interpret signs when someone is wearing a mask. And we know that virtual meetings and gatherings often don't provide key technology needed for people who are deaf. Lieutenant Governor Susan Bysowitz says efforts are already underway to better support the deaf community. Wednesday, Hartford Hospital held a COVID-19 vaccine clinic for students here ages 12 and up who just last week became eligible. Today I'm getting my vaccine because I want to protect myself from COVID-19. One key way officials plan to improve services going forward is by investing in communication. If you think about how quickly the pace changed, how quickly um, the information changed, when you're trying to make accessible videos, make videos available in American Sign Language, by the time you get the video done, the information has changed. And these proposals still need to be approved by the state legislature in West Hartford. Samaya Hernandez, News 8.